So we just got on here and we discovered that me and Sarah are wearing the same shirts again. What? Shirts from the uh, 25th anniversary concert. These shirts were given out to the staff originally and they did reproductions of them, right? Yeah, like when the show premiered. And yeah. it has a cool thing on the back too. I don't know if you can read that. Kids I can, the- yeah. Yeah. Kids say the darndest things. Exactly. Says. Okay, folks, today we're going to do the episode, the fourth episode of South Park, Big Gay Owls, Big Gay Boat Ride, and it aired September 3rd, I almost forgot, so I had to look down, 1997, Mm -hmm. so this was, yeah, this is the fourth episode to air ever. Is there anything you want to start out with about a memory or anything, and then we can go deeper into the episode? I just remember, like, I know I watched, like, this is <clears throat> still when I was, like, having to watch every episode with my dad supervising. <laughs> so the, there are, like, moments that stick out to me that, like, um, were, like, th- things that I remember making him laugh. I don't laugh out loud very often at things. I think there's, like, three or four episodes of, of South Park that have made me laugh out loud, like, part, like, and that's not anything bad about South Park. That's, oh, yeah, me, I'm the same compliment. way. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I just always like, I don't know, it was kind of a, any, t- any of those moments, just I, I remember them better because it's like, oh, he's, the adult is acknowledging that this is funny, so it must be funny. Same, same. <laughs> my, my grandpa, I watched it at my grandpa's house, and I remember every moment he laughed, and there weren't many moments he laughed, but I remember him going, <laughs> 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 and, he, and he'd say something about it, and like I remember he was German and in the the Mr. Hankey's Christmas classics when Hitler is singing the uh Oh Christmas Tree in German <laughs> he was he'd started singing the O oh, Tan Tannenbaum Tannenbaum mm. with uh with Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know, pretty funny. bad. <laughs> that sounds worse than it I actually meant it to sound. <laughs> totally fine without context. Yeah. <laughs> But that, I went. I was. I was wondering if he was laughing at the the way it sounded because it's like once I learned German, I was like, oh, this song is, like, he's completely pronouncing all the words wrong. <laughs> but it's it makes it funnier. My introduction to this episode, I think, I it was after it actually or originally aired. I was looking through a TV guide, and I saw. I don't remember they say it said big owls or big owls boat ride yeah they weren't allowed to say gay but i think by the time i read it it actually said big gay owls big gay boat ride but i'm not sure but my introduction to that was the description which said uh and stan's dog voiced by george clooney and i was like whoa they made stan's dog talk that's weird (laughs) with an actual person's voice like not just him barking but once I saw him barking, it made a whole lot more sense. And it was a lot more funny than if they had had him, the dog actually talking. That was just stupid. I don't know why I thought that. Uh, they, it would have, I, I'm trying to remember if I knew, if I, if I found out before or after watching it that George Clooney did that. It's like been so long, but I didn't, again, I didn't see this episode when it first aired because I wasn't around for season one or season two. I started halfway through season three. So any of those older ones I saw as reruns, like as probably within the first year or two that I started watching the show, I'd probably seen most of the reruns. But by the time the season, they started releasing them on DVD. I think that's when I really saw, ended up seeing all of them. Cause I don't know if I had seen every episode I missed by that time or not. In those it seasons. was the same for me, but it was like the first season, a lot of it I saw on the uh, VHS tapes they released, the official VHS tapes, like same with the DVDs, but this was in 98. So I probably saw this episode summer or fall of 1998. Maybe six weeks into watching it or something like that, maybe two months. I was trying to remember when I started watching it. And I only had, you know, a handful of weeks 
worth of, of episodes I had watched. So I just wrote down the titles of every episode I'd seen because I knew all of them and I just counted back. And I was like, okay, August 4th. <laughs> yeah. So I'm still, I, that's how I, I, I still remember the, that date from when I figured that out. <laughs> and I, ha- I'm, I, I, I feel like somewhere I should have that, that list and all the other stuff that I collected. And like, I, I would cut out magazine articles and I had like a whole I did drawer. that too. I had a whole drawer of South Park related things in my old parents old house and i feel like all that stuff is like in a box in their garage somewhere and i want to every time i go in their garage though to like i i'll tell myself like oh i want to go find some of these like childhood memories and i'm going to go in the garage and look for them and then i open the garage and i look in there and i'm like never mind yeah, <laughs> it's just so okay. full of stuff <laughs> it's so full of like big furniture and like piles stacks of boxes and yeah dust and spiders <laughs> so I'd go to Walmart, I'd look through magazines and I'd tear out a page that was had South Park on it and I'd stick it in my pocket. Nice. And I never got busted, but that was a ignorant thing to do. Because <laughs> people <laughs> buying the magazines are like, What? Where's this uh where's this fucking page at? You you deprived a lot of people from learning about South Park and I did start watching it. <laughs> I'm a bad fan. <laughs> I'm selfish. I feel like this is the first episode that's like feels like south park like that's they... what trey and matt said too yeah yeah trey and matt have said that and like even like other friends of mine who've watched this later like i have a couple friends who either started watching south park later like like later in life or mm. whatever like <laughs> i don't know how to... like they weren't watching it from the beginning they were wa- they started really late and then have gone back and watched like the older stuff that they hadn't seen yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, this this feels like just really them, like where they found them, themselves. And um, it's also like, I was I was rewatching it, I think earlier this year, and I hadn't seen it in so long. And I was laughing more than I expected to, because I was like, oh, it's, it, you know, it's season one, it's going to be dated, it's, it's like a totally different show. The old ones still make me laugh more than the new ones, even though I've seen them all a mm. million times. I don't know, it's just... There was something about those days when we were just kids and it was just a good time. And I remember those good times and it makes me laugh. And like you said earlier, I don't laugh at much. Back then I did, but nowadays I don't. So when these first came out and I first saw them, I was laughing my ass off at them. Now I'll laugh every now and then. I'm kind of almost the other way around because like... I, I feel like I, I laugh a little bit more easily as an adult than I used to. Oh, really? To. I don't know why. It's it's weird. Like, it, it used to take a lot more. You, you mean, are we gay? Yeah. Well, I am a little. I guess we're all a little gay. I was listening to their uh, their commentary on the, on this episode earlier. Mm-hmm. And- so like today all the yeah all the stuff that were that they said um, we're just repeating che- cheater <laughs> <laughs> no i actually i've listened to the commentary multiple times but i looked at wikipedia because even though i know all this stuff that i read i forget it because and then when i see i'm like oh yeah i knew yeah. that i yeah. forget that i know it yeah yeah like I, I i feel like i've absorbed a lot of information and um it's usually a lot of the time it's like it's still there and i'll like when i think about the episode i think about every all i go into my database mentally about the episode and i'll go into it there's always stuff that like you know slips through especially with the older stuff like this where maybe you haven't thought about it in a long time so in 1999 i came across a big gal skit or sketch um and it was a don't ask don't tell sketch where big gal was uh trying to sign up for the army and they kept asking him questions like about him being gay and stuff and he'd be like you can't ask me that stuff like that <laughs> that's all i remember about it is him saying you can't ask me that <laughs> that is so crazy i really want to see this i had no idea it existed i wish i had it because i used to watch it i think i did have it at some point mm. but i don't anymore Dang. It was in one of those formats. What was it called? Like real media player. Oh. Do you remember that? Like really low quality. Yeah. Wow. They, 
they do stuff sometimes like little collaborations with other people or little projects for other people that kind of just fly under the radar Mm -hmm. they don't get talked about most of them you can find though like this i cannot find anywhere yeah that's 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 a real like i said it's a real deep cut (laughs) yeah cool hopefully it'll surface one day i hope so because that was the highlight of my life (laughs) (laughs) wow no it wasn't but it Mm -hmm. was funny i liked it it looks like now my work here is done goodbye stanley peace be with you wow it's funny that they actually have him uh, go away in that briefcase in this episode because they didn't want want to have to have him back in the town again. Mm-hmm. Like mm, they brought him back anyway. They brought him <laughs> back anyway later on for the movie. I think the movie was the first time. Yeah, he was brought back, and then they had him later on in the throughout the seasons. Yeah. Okay. I had never heard of this song prior to this. Oh, I, really? I think I heard it in a commercial once later, but the um, this whole scene where they're all like trying to hit the note, it was so funny. And that's one of the scenes I remember my dad like cracking up at because it just sounded so funny after a while with all of them going, ah, ah, yeah. ah. <laughs> like, I haven't seen a Jew run like that since Poland 1938, dude. Um, they were they were like fighting with the network about these commentators. That's what I was going to say. Like, you can't make these. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 you, can't, you can't make these terrible jokes. Yeah, like, no, we're not the making the jokes. jokes. The commentators are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one was the worst one that they had to like fight, fight, fight for. Yeah, it was they, making fun of. It was making fun of what commentators said back then, I guess. And they do it later on in other episodes too. They do it with the Chinese people. And that one was even it, funnier to me. Yeah, it was. <laughs> because the way they're making fun of Americans, it was just so turning everything on its head. Like you don't you. That was so inventive. Yeah, this little, there he is, Brian Boitano. They're so obsessed with him. <laughs> I know. Just because he's something nobody's obsessed with. It, <laughs> it, it made them have an obsession with him. <laughs> and then apparently they cho- they did this whole thing with the song because Trey hates the, the song. <laughs> yeah, and they said Eric Stow, like worked at a Disneyland or something. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, they 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 worked well that was for the um that was kind of the uh, inspiration behind the boat ride yeah yeah um yeah because eric stow had that whole thing the whole memorized yeah hosted it and they have the dvda orgasmo song now you're a man playing i okay yeah i um that was the first time i heard that song because i I didn't see orgasmo me too years yeah. later i didn't know what it was from i didn't i don't even know if i knew that it was them doing the song i just remember hearing the song and going like what song is this this is incredible i loved <laughs> it and then when i heard i think the next time i heard it was on was when i finally watched orgasmo and i was like oh, this is the song i was like yeah. so happy to hear it again and then the full version and i was like this is where it's from and then i, I by then i think i knew it was dvda yeah because I, I knew what dvda was i learned that kind of pretty early on but again i don't remember when exactly i know found out that song was the D- a dvda song but i i always i don't know there was something so mysterious about it because i didn't know what it was and it, they just play a snippet of it mm-hmm. and i just same thing with the the braniff logo at the end i'm, I'm like why is there a plane <laughs> yeah and i always liked that little jingle or i thought it was a little jingle and then i and Cannibal the Musical later. I, I, I heard the soundtrack to Cannibal the Musical before I saw the movie because a friend of mine sent it to me. And uh, the very first song, you know, that's on there is that. And, and I'm like, oh, I, all those realizations are so fun. Like every time there's always been some kind of discovery because they put so many obscure things, references, Easter eggs in the, in the show, like all the time that like there's always things I find out way later that connects some kind of dot yeah and it's like i love it every time (laughs) you were saying about the uh the braniff jingle i was watching cannibal the musical and my sister was on the couch kind of watching it and when that song started she's like is that supposed to be the ending to south park is that where (laughs) it came from like yeah i i was surprised she would even notice that yeah 
I think I saw Orgasmo in 99 because oh, wow. I was think I was 15 when I saw Orgasmo or 16. I think and I was in college. <laughs> I remember I used my my uh, friend's dad would like record rented videos and make copies of them for himself, you know? Yeah. And uh, I, I always <laughs> asked him to do it uh, for me with movies. And I tried to get him to do it with Orgasmo, and he did it, but he showed my mom it before he gave it to me. And he was like, she was like, no, you can't have that movie because <laughs> of it. But I had seen it already anyway because. Right, of course. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's not hard to find to see something that you want to see when you're a kid. It's surprisingly easy. It's probably way easier now for kids. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but, yeah, I remember being proud of the way I was able to get get a hold of the South Park movie. Yeah. Twelve. <laughs> you were twelve when you saw the movie? Yeah. I was um, fifteen. I was supposed to be fifteen. That was the age that because my dad rented it to watch it to like see if I it was okay for me to watch. Mm -hmm. And he and he was just like hard no. <laughs> but he's but he decided or my parents decided together, I guess, like because I could see it when I was fifteen. And I might have been, no, I was 12, yeah, because once they said that, I was like, well, I guess I'm finding another way. I tried to do this the, in the straight and narrow way. Um, so yeah, immediately I was like, okay, how else can I make this happen? And um, I was desperate, I was, I was Kyle, basically. I was like, desperate to see this movie and also scared of my mom. <laughs> she found out I was in so much trouble. And um, well, my dad took me to see it, but he was like, the whole time. It's like, Rrr. it's pretty, Rrr. yeah, it's, it's a lot worse than the show is. For sure. So he didn't, he didn't care for it. He laughed a few times, but he, I could tell he didn't want me watching it. I remember um, a moment in the South Park movie where I laughed and no one else did. And everyone looked back at me. Really? And my, yeah. And then my dad's like, because <laughs> uh, everyone looked back at me and he's like, like it was uh, when Ike has the harmonica. He whips out the <laughs> harmonica. I laughed Wait, really hard funny. at that. No, that's everyone looked funny. back at me like I was the only one laughing. There just weren't many people in the theater, I think. Oh, so. that's lame. Did you it see did, it like late in the run or something? I saw it the day it premiered. What? Yeah, Weird. It, it didn't do great in theaters. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Did pretty poorly, I believe. I, I don't think I knew that. Because I wanted to go see it again, and when I went to go see it again, they got rid of it already. They weren't playing it anymore. Oh, my God. And I had to see American Pie, and I, I still have a grudge against that movie. I hated <laughs> it. I was so mad the whole time because I wanted to watch <laughs> South Park again. Aw. I was really bummed out. So yeah, I hate I American Pie. All right, guys. So we had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> It's so fun. You 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 do the uh goodbye. Oh, okay. Um uh I had fun, Louie had fun, and um this Rye Guy had fun. <laughs> we all had fun. This was a great episode, um, and I enjoyed like watching it on mute <laughs> and talking about it. That's Jesus like, had fun too. Oh wait. That's the life. And he's he looks like he's having a great time. Yeah, he's like, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave all you guys alone, and I will let you go back to your lives, and hopefully you will return for another podcast. Uh, I guess next would be elephant Ma An Elephant Makes Love to a Pig. So we'll see you then. Yeah, I... Spoilers, pig and elephant DNA just don't splice. <laughs> well, you ruined the whole thing. Now we don't even need to do the podcast. <laughs> it's all ruined. Thanks a lot. I should have been like, do pig and elephant DNA splice? Join <laughs> us and find out. Too late. We can't go back. We can't edit this. <laughs> Jesus, now I haven't asked you for much, but all we need is one little score. Please, please, Jesus. Leave me alone.